Hi everyone, welcome again to Bake Your Way Kitchen, and today I'm actually making another Nanaimo square. It's the traditional kind with a little bit of a twist. I like to do things a little bit differently than like the absolute norm, but uh, this is a very delicious recipe. It's not a big recipe, so you can double this recipe. It's very small, even for an 8 inch, so that should explain it. <laughs> Um, but this is great if you if you just if you're just a few people and you're looking for a nice treat This is a really good option to consider So let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is take a um, quarter cup of melted butter about 55 grams and pour it in a small bowl with just get that, with 75 grams of cookie crumbs or um, Oreo crumbs. I'm using a mixture because actually I had a little bit of the Oreo cookie crumbs left and I had some graham crackers to use up. So so 75 grams, that's probably, I think that's about three quarters of a cup. And we're also going to be adding um, just a touch of sugar. We're going to be adding about uh, two tablespoons. So you can just add that in right now. Two tablespoons of sugar and literally we have our base right now that's all there is you just have to do this now what we have to do is put this in a square pan um, flatten it out and we're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes I've added in uh, the coconut unsweetened coconut and now we're going to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder to give it an even richer chocolate flavor. If you feel that your cookie base is too dry, you can always add um, more butter. As you can see, it's uh, very dark and you get that from the um, Oreo cookie crumbs that, and the cocoa. Alright, so I've now flattened the cookie base in uh, 12 muffin tins and uh, I just flattened it as evenly as you can and as evenly as I can and uh, that's how it should look and now it goes in the oven for about 5 or 10 minutes just until it sets. Alright, so while our cookie base is in the oven um, we're going to go ahead with the other ingredients for the middle, the, the custard vanilla middle. So what I've got here is two tablespoons of butter with about 80 grams of cream cheese. And it should be softened. As well, I'm going to add a touch of brown sugar. I don't know why, I just find it really pops out with that little touch of molasses as well as a couple tablespoons of sugar, and that would be about 25 grams, as well a teaspoon of vanilla. We've got a pinch of salt, one egg, Oops. and uh, a teaspoon of vanilla custard powder. Now, this isn't critical, um, you don't need to use it, but I find it really brings out that nice custard color look. Um, it's not a critical ingredient, so if you don't have it on hand, no need to worry. Once you've gotten your butter and, uh, and cream cheese mixture uh, with sugar mixed together, we're also going to add about one to two tablespoons of um, powdered sugar to not only thicken it up, but even sweeten it up even more because as you know with all Nanaimo bars that center um, the center filling is uh, got a tradition of being very super sweet <laughs> obviously you can cut back if you wish um, but uh, yeah I think one to two tablespoons is plenty all right as you can see our crust our base has now set and it was only in the oven for a few minutes um, so now all you need to do is put your custard um, filling over the top. So this is what it should look like. It should be um, kind of a yellow color. You want it to have that nice yellow color. If you don't have it that color, it's probably because you didn't use the vanilla custard powder because the vanilla custard powder brings out that color. 
So I'm going to pour, distribute it. Uh, you can use um, a ladle or just a spoon. And you're just going to evenly spread it out until you spread it over the top. And I'll show you what that looks like. I've got um, the hot cream here and I put the cream on the stove to heat up and I'm making a ganache now so I added in the chocolate, the 100 grams and a couple tablespoons of sugar and just let this sit for a second. After about a minute it's already dissolving as you can see. So you want to keep stirring until you get a smooth consistency which should just be a few seconds. If there's still lumps of chocolate, if that doesn't go away, you can uh, just put it in the microwave for a few seconds. So what I usually do is mix the chocolate and custard together like this. I know that's not a typical way to do it. I'm gonna give one a try, and I'll let you know how it is. I'm gonna try this one. I'm just gonna break it apart, and I'll give it a try and let you know how it is. Mmm. Mmm. It's very good. I gotta say, the cream cheese is not a dominant flavor, so if you're not a huge fan of cream cheese, I think you'd still like this recipe. The chocolate is very good. Mmm. It's absolutely delicious. Very easy to make. Mm. And yeah, I think you'll enjoy them. They're very good. Classic Nanaimo bars with a twist. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.